you say that's pretty harsh to say they're still in darkness even though their doctrine may be true as far as God doing the saving. But does not the Lord command sinners to come to, to Christ? It's a command. It's not an invitation. I'm not saying that we need to beg people. That's, that's not it. There's no begging in Scripture. But there's the command that we are to repent or perish. These are commands that we find in Scripture. There's a command to ask, to seek, and to knock. So if the Lord commands it, and one says, I don't need to, because God's the one that does the saving anyway, what is that but rebellion? Is that not hardness of the heart? In John chapter 5 and verse 40, our Lord dealt with these Pharisees who stood at a distance and would not believe and would not bow, even though he is the king and he's the God-man. And you can see what he says here as their condemnation in verse 40. Some people can argue, well, man in his sin cannot come. So why is he even commanded? Because God can only command sinners to repent. He can only command sinners to believe on his son. You say, why don't they come? Well, verse 40, ye will not come to me that you might have life. There is a will problem, but it's not a free will. It's a will that's bound by rebellion.